guys, I'm Elizabeth Newsom and welcome to my booktube channel. So today I'm stealing an idea I got from my friend Stories with Steph. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the first sentence of a book and I'm going to have my little sisters tell me whether or not they'd be willing to read the book based on the first sentence. And they'll be blindfolded so that they can't tell which book it is. Such a young man. I'm now thinking of YMCA. <laughs> young um, man. <laughs> I think it was said uh, young man. <laughs> so, can you repeat that again? Such a young man. I could read you the next few sentences. Yes, okay, yes, Bushy okay. hair, narrow shoulders, a thin man. A little nerdy, even. Hardly the sort of leading man we expect today. I actually would be interested in that. Like, you, sound, you can say no if you want. I'm not sure that if I made you read this book afterwards, would you be okay with that? Yes, fine. It's actually the first 50 pages book, and it's how to engage agents, editors, and readers to set up your novel for success. <laughs> Ready? Most people don't expect you to understand what we're going to tell you in this book. No, oh, it sounds like one of those learning books. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just. <laughs> No. It's called Do Hard Things. Ah! No! Oh my goodness. It's book for TV. Ah! Everyone has heard people quarreling. Sometimes it sounds funny and sometimes it sounds nearly unpleasant. But however it sounds, I believe we can learn something very important from listening to the kinds of things they say. One of those learning books again. That sounds like a very big book. That is Mere Christianity by C.F. Lewis. Ugh. Uh, you don't like C.S. Lewis? He makes a hobbit! It can be boring sometimes. In the year 2042, the world as we know it came to an end. That's, That's a lie. That sounds so depressing. I you don't know that, though. It's it probably a lie. But would you read that? Sure. That would be fun. I would say no. Isa? That sounds depressing. I don't like reading. Sometimes. Yeah, no. That is The Sword. It's a book I used to read. Oh, right. that time, that like, fantasy book. Every remember, we're like the, with this yeah. guy named Teo and then Anastasia, who's this pretty farm yeah. girl, and, and she's out in the wilderness. And, oh. and that guy who like got a cut. And then there was a bear that came towards him, right? And she killed him. Bear from the guy. I don't remember this. Well, I mean, I remember more like the oh. sword, like where oh. it came to the end. When I woke up in the examination room, I was handcuffed to the bed. Yes. Yes. So it's a book called The Darkest Path, and the synopsis says 15-year-old Caleb Rowe and his younger brother James were captured by the Glorious Path, a militant religion based on the teachings of a former U.S. soldier, and forced to join six years ago. As a war rages between the path and what's left of the U.S. government, Cal gets along by working in the path's dog tail. But soon Cal is presented with an opportunity to move up into the ranks, putting him on the verge of becoming one of the deadliest secret agents. Then Cal befriends a stray dog named Bear and kills a commander who wants to train Bear to be a vicious attack dog. When the video is posted on YouTube, it's an instant hit. Sounds like your YouTube book, like the one that you read for YouTube thing. I think I would read that. Action. This is probably more of a problem. Probably need more action. That's actually The Dead, which is a zombie book. That so there's lots of action in it. No, the YouTube video is about the first sighting of the zombies. Oh, oh, ah, no, I would be like freaked out. No. Yeah, so the next part, have you seen the scared kid video? It's really freaky. At first I thought it was a joke, but it looks so real. It's definitely fake, but it's still scary. I can't watch it, it's too frightening. Yep. Yeah. When I wake up, the other side of the bed is cold. What? I, I thought you were gonna be like, you know, I woke up on the bad side of the bed this morning. No, but yes or no? Yes. I don't know. That is the Hunger Games. Oh, that makes me So that's me. That's how I once looked. We should all see ourselves from a stranger's perspective at least once in our lives. Yes or no? Yes. 
This book is Star Wars Order 66, a Republic Commando novel. A lot of teens read books, but I wasn't one of them. I did read several Cliff Notes book summaries, however. <laughs> yes. I can see you doing that. Yes. So would you read this book? Probably. Maybe. Yes or no, Isa? Yes, there's no maybe. Fine. Nice. This is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teenagers. Yay! I take it back! No, it's such a cool book, though. It has, like, cartoons in it. it has... Oh! Oh, cartoons. Yeah, and, like, personality tests. Okay, okay. okay. That's that's fine. Fine. It's actually really cool. A nightmare seized him from his sleep, turned around his throat, and filled his mouth so full he could not cry out. Yes. Yes. This is called The Unveiling. It's a book by Tamerly. It's a medieval romance. Ugh! 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 I've heard it before! Um, I don't really like romances. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gilbert! Heedless of the brigands ransacking her dowry wagons, Lizanne Balmain pulled free of her maid and rushed past the torn and blood-strewn bodies scattered over the ground. You good? Lisa? <laughs> this is Lady at Arms, another book by Tamerly. Medieval romance. Is it that one? No. Juiced had two problems. Who? Who? Juiced. J-O-O-S-T. Ju like Juiced had two problems. The moon and his mustache. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> I have to say, I probably read a glimpse of this chapter. I don't know. Oh, yes. This is Six of Crows. It's a young adult fantasy novel. Like John Brodus Watson didn't believe He's stupid. Yes. Alright, this is a non-fiction book. It's called A Book About Love. <sighs> ha. What's your book non-fiction? I don't like love. Can I take off my blindfold? You don't like love? Can I take off my blindfold? You said you're no longer my sister. Oh, so ready! As you can see, my sisters are still adjusting to the light. I can't. But we hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and the reading of the first lines of a few of these books. Oh, my eyes. And in the comments, let us know which first line sounded the most interesting to you. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.